Hi guys, it's fall here and the trees are starting to turn pretty colors and what better time to have a pumpkin flavored scone than right now. And what if your scone can support your fitness goals too? So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna start with a base of almond flour and I'm going to sift it to get out all the lumps. So there's one cup of almond flour. I'm gonna to add to this three tablespoons of coconut flour. The almond flour makes it crunchy, gives that nice crisp crust, and the coconut flour, it absorbs a lot of liquid, so it allows us to use the pumpkin and still not be too cake-like. This bag of coconut flour I just bought today from Walmart, it's their great value. Yeah, the organic great value, $5 for the whole thing. And it goes a long way. The sweetener I'm going to use is this um, Locanto monk fruit. I got it off of Amazon for the golden brown sugar version. You can use the regular version or a three for tall or xylitol or whatever sweetener you like. You're gonna need a fourth of a cup if it measures like sugar. up in there and then a fourth of a teaspoon of salt I use the pink mineral salt and two tablespoons of baking powder I said that wrong, two teaspoons of baking powder. That would be weird, that would be bad. And then one teaspoon of pumpkin spice blend. I just refilled this jar um, with a blend that I have on my website. I really like the flavors in it and I will link that down below if you'd like to make your own blend. Rounded it just a little. Pumpkin spice is the best part. All right. Next, we're gonna take our coconut oil. If you use it hard, solid, you'll just cut it in with a cutter. I made it liquidy. Then I'm just gonna whisk it into, until I get crumbles. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put in my chopped pecans now. Um, it'll be hard to mix it evenly if I wait. And mine are fairly big pieces. I kind of like them that way. You can do it however you want. Okay, our liquid then ingredients are gonna be a teaspoon of vanilla. And I make my own by just dropping the vanilla beans into a bottle of rum. And then when the rum uh, takes about six weeks for it to look right and smell right, and then I pour it into something pretty. And one egg. And a half a cup of pumpkin puree. All right. That's it, then we're just gonna mix this up together until it forms a really dry dough. gonna put this on a parchment lined sheet and this makes three scones and they're they're nice sized I'll get you the nutrition information in the description box down below I'm just gonna kind of eyeball this into equal spots parts and then I'm gonna shape them into the traditional little triangle shapes. All right, it's 
So we're gonna slip these in to the oven at 375 for 15 minutes and I'll show you what they look like. The scones are out of the oven and I've let them cool for just a few minutes on the tray. This is what they look like, all golden brown and the tops have cracked. Since they're technically gluten-free, they hold together better once they're cooled. And then just give it a little taste. Mm. So the pecans are crunchy and the outer shell is crisp, but the inside is soft and tender. And I just really like it yummy. Um, it's really good with whatever warm beverage you like, tea, coffee if you drink it, um, warm protein powder, like it's like, that sounds gross, but you know what I mean? Like a protein shake that's warm is just super soothing and lovely. So sometimes I do that too. All right, enjoy.